All right, Shalom, first and foremost, giving all praise to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachak, Wadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of the great most on who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom to the men of the Lord, prophesying, preaching, and teaching on the highways and byways in sincerity and in truth. Shalom, Barak, and uh, And I, I saw the, uh, this post from one of the, uh, from one of the Akim, uh, GMS Austere Man, and uh, it, it it's 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 very disturbing you know i i used to say that i was shocked but you know now we know that this this is just part for the course just complete chaos complete disorder a sign of the end if you will man all right and as disgusting as this is you know this is a beautiful thing because of the the time that it indicates that we're in man getting the hell out of here it says according to apple men can get pregnant too as they release pregnant <laughs> as they re release the pregnant person emoji that looks like a man all a part of the conditioning and that's that's very very true man because they're, they'll they're just all out rebellion now man that's how you know that this that this place is is uh is babylon <laughs> it, it's it's the it's the capital of confusion in the entire planet earth man causing mayhem just doing shit for, for no reason all right because this is completely pointless what what percentage of people do you think is, is doing this right but they gotta they gotta appease everybody all right and this is an apple this is one of the most it, may, it might be still the most profitable company in the world man pushing this straight sh i mean just straight rebellion man wicked as hell but this this is let me get isaiah uh this is isaiah 3 it says uh i'll start at 8 it says but jerusalem is ruined and judah is fallen because a lot of jakes have fallen into this you know through the spirit like they they want jake to to fall in line with this before they want anybody else to fall in line with it because whatever jake does is popular so if you got Jake out there being a bunch of uh, Bati boys and, and doing all manner of, of uh, you know, uncleanness, I'll just say that, then everybody else is going to follow. All right. It says because their tongue and their doings are against the Lord Jehovah to provoke the eyes of his glory. They show of the, their countenance doeth witness against them, meaning you can just look at them and tell that, that they ain't right. All right. You got you got a. Uh, something called the bearded lady all right now that used to be a circus act <laughs> back in the, the 1920s and 30s you go to a carnival or, or a circus and it would be something called a bearded lady it was looked at as completely abnormal freakism but now it, they're on dr phil you know making arguments about why they should be able to teach your kids this all right it, it's it's becoming normalized now when you read genesis the 19th chapter you know you basically see why this is a major major problem and the lord needs to deliver us all right and it's also you'll see how that same exact behavior is going to mark the time of the end because when when those angels came through in the time of lot in genesis 19 what happened to that to that city you know a fiery destruction <laughs> those angels showed up to, to scout it out to mark that place to be the witnesses all right and they got Lot and his family up out of there, and then and, and that was a wrap. All right, it says they declare their sin is Sodom, and they hide it not. This is this is being uh, completely proud of this man. Like for you to have this on as an emoji, it, this, that, that's crazy. It says, uh, "Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves." So there, there's going to be people that that think this is cute. All right. That they're gonna they're gonna be on Twitter or whatever praising this, all right. And the, the angels have record of all of that, man. And it, and it says you've rewarded evil to yourself, all right. Isaiah 19 and 14 it says the Lord hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. Because this is a very perverse thing, all right. To uh, to upset the the order of the Most High to do something completely vile and wicked, man, all right. And this won't be long. Uh, I just wanted to. Uh, I just saw this this post and wanted to say a few words on it, you know. But th this this is this is par for the course again, man. Why well, we got to get out of here? This is ridiculous. All right.
It says, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work. This is a grave error, man. A, a society can't take a one generation, even, of, of things getting this bad before all hell starts breaking loose, before everything starts to be compromised. But they're going to have the audacity to, to try to demonize us for us just going into the scriptures. All right? Now... Let me get the last precept here. This is Isaiah 29. Isaiah cuts this, man. I'm staying, staying here. Uh, yeah, I started Isaiah 29 and 14. It says, Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among this people, even a marvelous work and a wonder. And that's, uh, that's among the elect. It says, For the wisdom of their wise men... Uh, so lucky I might have that wrong. Yeah, it's just talking about uh the wicked Esau Edom and and you two thirds that are that are gonna sign up with him. It says, Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among his this people, even a marvelous work and a wonder, for the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, man. And they think they're wise. They're gonna get up here and tell you that the science is wrong, even though they came up with the original science. You know, there's no such thing as, as two uh male and female you know gender and all of that and they're going to get up there and, and try to explain to you why there's why there's hundreds of different genders and things are fluid and this and that and that and 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 it's their wisdom all right but it says for the wisdom of their wise men shall perish all right and the understanding of the prudent men shall be hid all right so our wisdom all right it's going to be withdrawn at a certain point the things that we've been telling you you know it's gonna it's gonna be hid and and their prudent men the guys that came up with the original science their wisdom is gonna be hid man so in other words it's just gonna be chaos there's not gonna be any wisdom in the earth it says woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord Jehovah and their works are in the dark and they say who see it does because you got the the Eminem uh, thing going on too uh, let me find that Eminem uh, let me see no nah, that's Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, we may have to be careful with this article of the Babylon Bee because I believe this is a uh, this is a site of satire. Let me play this real quick. Ever since I was mass produced in a factory, people have been trying to put labels on me. Nutrition labels, expiration dates, telling me I was biologically chocolate on the inside. But deep down, I knew I wasn't who they said I was. I was. I am. A skittle. Part of moving forward is accepting responsibility for your past. The people at Mars Inc., they weren't bad people. They were just ignorant. They thought they knew what candy I was just because they knew my exact chemical composition. But we are not our biology. We're holding ourselves accountable for the way in which accurate product descriptions cause hurt and pain to the trans candy community. I, I just woke up one day and realized I am not defined by the chocolate center I was made with. I am, and always was, a delicious grape Skittle. And I'm proud of it. So, Mars has committed to never again a sign. Yeah, I can't take much more of this, man. <laughs> but yeah, I believe this is actually a uh, satire now that I look at it. Because the Babylon Bee, that's what they do. They like they do troll op-ed pieces, um, you know. But uh, that's the spirit, though. 144 comments, though. Because... Honestly, this is the way things are heading, you know. Honestly, because they did come out and say the M&Ms were uh, being more inclusive, you know. And, and what does that mean? More wickedness, more flipping things upside down. Let's go back to Isaiah. It says, uh, 
Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord Jehovah, and their works are in the dark. And they say, Who seeth us and who knoweth us? It says, Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. And that's what this is, man. This, this fucking abomination, man. The shit should piss you off, man, because it, it, cause eventually they're coming to shove it down your throat. You know? And it says, Surely your things, uh, Isaiah 29 and 16 again, Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay, for shall the work of shall, shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not, or shall the thing framed of him that framed it, he hath no understanding. And that's y'all basically trying to tell the most high you screwed up. I'm not a woman, I'm not a man, I'm not I'm whatever I want to be, I'm whatever I think of in my mind. Not knowing that the Lord controls your thoughts. And he's put a, a spirit of delusion on you, man. So you know, that's basically it. I wanted to share that with you, brothers, man. We got to we gotta get the hell out of here, man. You know, so with that, hopefully our brothers were edified. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rahab Kudash. Gawah Ababa Babal. Shalom.